How's it going guys? I posted a video earlier about me loading a Nissan Xterra and walking the truck underneath the vehicle because I didn't have the keys to it. And a lot of people commented on it saying that they need to practice this. A bunch of couple people didn't know how to do it or I'd never done it. So I figured I'd make another video showing you how to do it. Uh, a couple of pros and cons. The pros are, even if you have the keys to the vehicle and you're in the rollback, you're dropping it off the bed, and you're two or three feet from the back of the parking spot, you can use this method to be able to get the car in the spot without having to pick the bed up, get in the truck, put it in reverse, and then back it up. You can do everything in one motion outside, and it's good to go. Another pro is your customer service. Customers don't like seeing their vehicles drug. If you have a pickup truck or a car or whatever that's stuck in park, you can't get it out of park, which people who've been doing this for a while, they know how to get to the linkage and put it in neutral or whatever. But if you don't, it gives the customer that wow factor almost to where they go, wow, he didn't drag my car. He actually moved the wrecker underneath my car and didn't drag it but a foot just to get on the bed where he can secure it. So the next time they need to tow an operator, oh, well, I'm going to call these people because their operators know what they're doing. They, won't, they didn't damage my vehicle and, you know, they did they had some pretty cool tricks up their sleeve. Another thing is, hey, my car's broke down. Do you know of a good towing company? Yeah, call these people over here at this company. They towed my car. Awesome people. They know what they're doing. You know, it's all about customer service. Another con is, if you're anything like me, you want your winch cable spooled up straight. I hate a winch cable that's crossed up. This Doing this, you're going to have to spool your cable about half to three quarters of the way up the bed. If you have a remote like I do, you can hold it and put pressure on it before you load the vehicle. And that'll keep it straight, that'll keep it spooled up. So that's another con of it. The con, another con is whenever you pick the rear end of the truck up, this truck's bag. So whenever you drop the bags and you pick the rear end up, it's gonna kind of stretch those airbags out a little bit. But it's not it's not really that bad for. Them. I don't like doing it because I don't like seeing the rear end of my truck dangling up off the ground. And you'll see you'll see that in a minute. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is get as square as you can with the vehicle. It's kind of hard to see right here. But you're gonna to want to get as square as you possibly can with the vehicle. Especially if you can't get in as a turn the steering wheel, because if the steering wheel's turned, it's gonna to try to drive itself off the bed and turn, and it's a pain in the ass. So that's gonna be the first thing you want to do. Then, I plug this thing. You're gonna to want to drop your bags, put your PTO on out of your truck up. And I think boss lady was calling me. Never mind. And I normally put gloves on, but since I'm not gonna be messing with chains or anything like that, I'm gonna leave them off. Well, I should've got the gloves. You can take the chain. the remote but that's fine uh, normally I'd have the remote and I'd be holding the chains and spooling it up the bed so the J hooks are about right here that'd be about a good spot make sure your beds free where your vehicle doesn't run over your security chains if you keep them like I do and then we're gonna go ahead and get it loaded so make sure you clear your lock drop your bed down Go out to your vehicle. All the way to the tires. Pick up a little bit. Let it roll back on that pin. And now we're underneath it. Alright. Put your bed back down and put it down all the way. See how the tires come up off the ground? Now we're going to pull the truck underneath. Just like that. Put your bed back down. Start walking your bed back.
should be the last time I gotta do that. Now your tires are on the bed and you have to drag it that far. Steel, no asphalt, customer's happy, everything's good. Get to the drop-off location, shake the vehicle off. I'm gonna do the same thing, just in reverse. Pull your bed forward. Get up. should have enough clearance to be able to get out from underneath it. Just be careful because your bed will spring up and you don't want to hit a bumper. See how I kind of jump? Do it, move it slow, you'll be just fine. Voila, customer's happy, everybody's happy, you get paid. Hopefully you get a repeat customer or some recommended business and a good review on Facebook. Easy money. Y'all have a good day.